In this video, you are going to learn how to create mobile application using Quen CLI or in fact any sort of CLI based AI coding agents. So Quen CLI or Gemini CLI or this kind of like CLI based AI agents are very popular these days, but it can be very confusing for a lot of beginners. They might be confused at how you can actually build maybe something like a proper full stack mobile application using this kind of CLI agents. So this video is focused on this topic. I'm going to show you a complete step-by-step -step process that how you can build a complete mobile application using Quen CLI. The reason why I'm choosing Quen CLI for this tutorial because recently Quen 3 Coder was released, which is probably one of the best and cheapest model out there to write code. So this is Quen 3 Coder and you can see Quen 3 Coder is beating the likes of Cloud Sonnet 4, GPT 4.1, Kimi K2 and DeepSeek version 3 on all of these different benchmarks. And the amazing thing is Quen3 Coder is far more cheaper than Claude Sonnet 4 because Quen3 Coder only costs $0.3 per million input and output tokens Claude and Claude Sonnet costs $3 per million input tokens and $15 Per million output tokens. So that's why we're using Quen CLI for this tutorial. And this will be an absolutely beginner friendly tutorial. So if you have never developed a mobile app or you have never used Quen, so I'm going to give you a very detailed beginner friendly step by step guideline to develop mobile application. So before you start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. And if you're not following me on X, please just go ahead and follow me on X. All right, so we'll be developing this app in Flutter. Flutter is a cross platform framework that helps you to develop apps not only for Android but for iPhone as well. So please make sure that you have installed Flutter on your computer. If you have not, just simply write Flutter download on Google and then just click on this link. And after that, simply just choose your operating system if you are using Windows or Mac OS. So currently I'm using Windows, simply just choose Windows. And after that, choose the type of your app because we are developing a mobile app. So that's why we're going to select Android. So simply just download and install Flutter on your computer. Once it is done, after that, the next step is now creating an empty Flutter project on your computer. So to create a Flutter project, I have just created this empty folder inside my computer. You can just like create any folder anywhere on your computer. Next thing that you need to do, you need to simply just open this folder inside a terminal. So you can just like right click and then click on open terminal. And after that, what you can do, you can just run this command, which is Flutter create. Just give it a name, Flutter underscore test score app. So just write this command Flutter create. And after that, just give your app a name, press enter. And now it will create an empty Flutter project. In here, you can see inside this folder, it has just created this empty Flutter project. So let me just open this folder right now. And you can see these are our project files. This is our Flutter project files. So let's just run this project. It must be an empty project right now. So let me just right click and click on open in terminal. And after that, you can just run this command, which is Flutter, Flutter run. Just run this command, Flutter run, press enter. And now, it will run your project. After that, it will ask you where you want to run this project. Do you want to run it on Windows or on Chrome or on Edge? So I'm just going to run this project on Windows. So I'm just going to select one, press enter. It's building this application on Windows. It might take just a few seconds. So let's just wait for it to finish building. And right now you can see it has just finished building and it has just opened this empty Flutter application. This is a simple counter application inside Flutter. So far, we have just created an empty Flutter application. Now, next step is to install Quen CLI and then open this project inside Quen CLI and then ask Quen CLI to start making changes in our project and then ask it to like create a front end design and create different screens. So we're gonna do that now. So to open Quen CLI, just go to this GitHub URL. You can just write Quen code, Quen code CLI, and this will give you this GitHub URL. You can simply just open this GitHub URL. After that, what you can do, you can simply just like scroll down and then there is this one command that you need to run, just simply one command. Before you run this command, make sure that you have installed Node.js on your computer. If you are an absolutely beginner and your computer is not ready for like Flutter developments, so just make sure that you have installed Flutter on your computer and then you installed Node.js on your computer. So just like download this Windows installer and then install it and that's it. Node.js will be installed on your computer. After that, what you can do, you can simply just copy this command from here and then now just open your terminal, the same terminal that you use to create and run this Flutter application. So make sure that you are inside this project directory. After that, you can simply just click on this open terminal. And now this terminal, which is already open in here, it will be opened like this. After that, you can just run that command that you just copied from GitHub. Just press enter now. And now it will install Quen code on your computer inside this project actually. And now next step is you can simply just write this simple command, which is Q-W-E-N. Just write Quen. And now what it will need, it will need your API key. So to provide it an API key, now we need to go to open router, 
get an API key from there and then provide that API key in here. So this is Open Router. This is a platform where you can access all of these different large language models. And in here you can see Quen3 Coder free and Quen3 Coder. You can either use the free version or you can just like use this Quen3 Coder. I recommend using this version, not the free version, because in free version you, you might face rate limiting and it might not finish the complete task that you will assign it. So that's why I highly, highly recommend you using this because this is like dirt cheap. And in fact, we can just develop like a whole application within like less than a dollar. So you can just like go with this Quen3 coder. So once you have decided that you're going with this Quen3 coder paid version, after that, what you need to do, you need to create an API key. You can simply just go to this top right and then simply just go to this key section. And from here, you can simply just click on this create key and then just give this key a name, then press on uh, create and then it will create a key for you. I have already created this key. I simply just copy this key from here and now I'll go back to my terminal. After that, what I'll do, I'll simply just press enter. So now it wants me to copy and paste that API key in here. So I'll just paste that API key in here. And now next thing that it needs is this base URL. So to get this base URL, I have to go back to open router and then open my Quen3 coder page. So and then just go to this API section. From this API section, just go to this base URLs code in here. So this is the base URL. Just copy this URL without these quotation marks. Just copy this base URL, paste that base URL in here press enter and now it needs this model id to provide this model id simply just inside this api section again just go to this model id and then copy this model id from here paste that model id in here press enter and now everything is ready your api key has been set and your quen coder is fully ready so let's just give it a task now let me just tell it that you are inside a flutter application i want to create i don't know like just give it a simple idea maybe i don't know budget management app please create a high quality app design with basic functionalities that's it and now you can just press enter and now it will start writing code for us right now you can see it is saying that i'll create a high quality budget management app with basic functionalities let me just start understanding the project structure and then implement the app and after that, right now it is reading these files, which is pubspec.yaml file. Then it is reading this main.dart file. And now it has just created this plan. That plan includes dashboard with budget overview, transaction tracking, then category management, budget planning. And now after that, it is asking us to allow these changings. So you can simply just click on allow once or you can just like click on allow, always allow. So press enter always allow so now in future if it will require to edit any of the files it will automatically approve that and now next step is it wants to create a new folder which is a library slash model so i can just like allow that yes always allow and now it has got this permission to always create directories on its own so that's amazing let's just wait for it to finish writing code by the way guys its performance is really good i have used cloud code and i am using quen3 and to be honest, this is as good as cloud code. I never liked these CLI agents too much, but now I have actually like started falling in love with these kind of like CLI agents because they are just simple and they are somehow like more aware of your projects. But still my all time favorite is augment code. I have left cursor for like, I think more than three months now, and I'm paying like a hundred dollar subscription for augment code, but augment code is for, so far like my best, one of the best tools. So right now it is creating different directories and different widgets. So I'm just like looking at it and I'm just like, just kind of like observing it and monitoring it. I'm not doing anything right now. It is doing whatever is required to create that app. And so far you can see this agent has been running for last two minutes and four seconds. So yeah, I mean, it is counting the time duration as well. All right. So finally, after eight minutes, it has just like finished writing code and you can see it has created all of these different widgets and these different components. And it has like created all of these different screens. And now it wants to run this application. I simply just press enter and now it is going to run this application. Okay, so while it tried to run this application, there was this error that we got in this particular widget underscore test.dart file. So now it is going to fix that error and then try to run this again. And now we can even see the fixes that it has just applied. The green line of code is that it has added. The red is what it has just removed. Now it is going to test it again. I'll just press enter. Now let's just see if it can actually run this app. So far, so good. All tests passed and hopefully it can just run this application right now. Okay, it is going to run this app on Windows. So I'll just press enter again. And now let's just wait for it. Okay, that's perfect. This is amazing. This is the app that it has just created. And this is amazing. It has this really nice dashboard. Then it has this navigation menu with all of this mock data. Then it has like all of these different categories. 
and then this plus icon there is an error while well, when i clicked on this plus icon so there was an error so i can just like copy paste this and then share it with like gwen that okay please fix that error but so far i mean it has it has done a really amazing job this front end design looks nice and even all of these different sections look nice as well and even these are functional as well so any error that i have i can just like copy this error take a screenshot and then even share it with gwen even right now in real time when i got this error so it has just like noticed that error in here so now it is going to attempt to fix it and right now you can see it is already saying that already working on it that's perfect i can simply just close it right now and now you can see lost connection to device and now it is going to like fix those errors and then it will run this application again so our base for this application is ready we have basic functionalities with all of these basic different screens my main goal was to show you that how you can build mobile application and now from here you can just like build on top of it you can like create backend you can just like maybe connect superbase or maybe just connect firebase and then you can just like build a complete authentication system for this application i'll create more videos on this topic i'll create like more full stack applications where i'll like create a backend system i'll integrate maybe like something like clerk inside this application to build an authentication system so just keep an eye on the future videos and just please be creative with gwen and then create something amazing with gwen and just let me know in comment section what you have just created using gwen i see you next video bye bye